All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 24 of Fear and Beyond Journeys End, which is called Perfect Replicas. Yeah, of course, that's who we've been running into in the most recent episodes now that we're taking part in this labyrinth test. Uh, you know, a couple of groups have already been running into those weird clones, right? And so Denken, I think, um, was who we ended on facing literally a clone of Firin. So that's no doubt going to be an interesting fight. Although I also will say I've been, you know, doing some speculation in the meantime. It's been a week or two, I think, since I saw the recent uh, episode. And yeah, like on one hand, I'm kind of dreading proceeding because I realized that we have five more episodes left and this you know, this whole season has been flying by, honestly. And, you know, we're getting really close to the end of the road for now at this point, right? But I was thinking, who would be summoning those clones? Because they're just, they basically figured they're just as powerful as the actual mages that they represent. Plus, there's like multiple of them being summoned all at the same time. So it would have to be somebody really powerful, you'd figure, right? And therefore, it got me to kind of think, oh... Is Siri herself actually going to be at the bottom of this test? You get what I'm saying? I don't know if I remember whether there were going to be more tests after this, though. Because I feel like there would still have to be a third test or something like that as well. They might have mentioned it, but I wasn't sure anymore, honestly. Um, but yeah, obviously the, the person that makes it to become a first-class mage will get their wish granted or whatever from Siri was what the tease was, right? And so... Siri could already basically be at the bottom of this labyrinth, uh, sort of presenting herself as the, yeah, the person who has been summoning all these, uh, uh, well, these these replicas then, right? So that's actually what I'm kind of expecting now. We're going to see, of course, if Firin and Fern, along with uh, Zenze, are going to be making it all the way down, or if one of the other groups actually will as well. It could be that Denkin actually facing Firin here goes out, right? Like, that's a possibility, because I... Do expect that Firin is going to be the only one actually being able to make it to first class mage uh, by the end of it all but we're gonna have to wait and see about that i've been loving you know just overall this new uh, uh trial that we're on obviously <laughs> Firin got stuck in another fucking chest last episode that we so we spent a lot of time actually trying to get her out of that um yeah there's not a whole lot more to say i think i mean you know at the start of the episode of course we we're thinking about how are we going to actually approach this thing. Uh, Denken wanted everybody to work together, but nobody felt basically the same way, right? So he's with a small group himself. Um, but we're going to see how it all plays out. So guys, if you enjoy my reactions to Fear and Beyond Journeys, and you, of course, will be able to get early access to all the remaining episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So make sure you go and check it out. Full-length reactions are going to be up there too. Uh, and you can also sign up as a free member and watch the next two episodes already right now as well. So I hope to see you there. But with that being said, let's dive into episode 24. <laughs> yeah, they faced their own group. That's hilarious, actually. Wibble did. Meanwhile, Denkin is going up against Freerun. Hey, that is your uh, toughest competition, actually, right here. She is just as strong. <laughs> Dude, I love how she's floating just like how we've seen Fern do it a bunch of times. Spiegel, the water mirror fiend. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, so is that who is behind it? A monster from a mythical era that appears in Ewig the Sage's heroic tales. Who is Ewig the Sage? We believe the Spiegel reads the memories of those who enter the dungeon. Creates perfect replicas of its targets. Okay, well, that is my whole fucking theory thrown out the window that it would actually be Siri, perhaps, <laughs> being at the bottom of this. So, uh, never mind, guys. I never said that. なぜ全然そんなこの男女を試験会場に複製体は自分と互角の相手だ犠牲を出さずに倒す身は冷静な自己分析とチームワークを必要になる。I mm, mm. mean, I guess it might kind of yeah, like I wonder what what is the outcome if you go up against yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like, technically, you should never be able to actually defeat yourself, should you? 
I mean, I don't know. You could obviously argue that there's always going to be some luck involved as well in any fight, basically. So even going up against yourself, that could be a victor, ultimately. But you might have to do, like, strategic thinking as far as, okay, let's make sure that the strongest person goes up against the weakest clone or something like that. So he at least gets to take them out first. And then you're automatically turning the rest of the fight into, like, a 2v1, for example, situation or something like that, right? Which would... um shift the odds if that makes sense maybe i'm thinking too deep about it though <laughs> as for usual <laughs> holy fuck oh yo oh i thought they got blasted for a second but they just okay they just dipped Hey, technically, this is a 4v1. Should be manageable, right? Man is hit. Damn, he's not doing good. Wait, why does she... She steal it off of them? They can't escape? <laughs> Pretty fucking perfect. Looks just like you, at least. <laughs> Plus, it's devious enough that it apparently can steal your golem from you. Assuming that it actually did, right? It's not her own. Fair enough. Some things that it can do. Okay, see, it did, it did. It took it right from him. Wow, smart, man. Fucking hell. They really do have some intellect. But does that not mean that... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, but does that not mean that... I mean, at this point, you can no longer basically fail... Or, well, by dying, obviously. But, like, when the time runs out, these golems are automatically get... Uh, activated or something, right? Is what uh, Zenze said. So, <laughs> in this case, it's the fucking clone that gets carried back. You know, what? <laughs> How am I supposed to, like, interpret that, right? Like, does that mean you still get to proceed yourself and win nonetheless? I guess not. Or do we just have to try and get the clone now to activate the golem so that it gets carried out uh, so that we can simply proceed? <laughs> You would. Damn. I was gonna say, man is really not doing well. Dude, she is, she is vicious. <laughs> Instead of aiding in some way, are you the real one? What are you saying? You think this is the clone? It'd look a little more brown if that was the case. She might just get it from herself again. Oh shit, man. Damn, she was ready too. You saw that? See, it's entire body. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's what they said about the ensnaring spells, right? Yeah, see, it, it's really, yeah, it's a 1v1. It's a, a, a great match. Luck! Dude, I'm literally right! So there is some matter of luck involved then. She's got even more dead eyes than her. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, fuck. 
Yeah, okay, okay, okay. She was ready. What is she gonna do? What is she gonna pull? Okay. Land is just coming in. Oh, shit. Wow. Got her in half. Thanks for the golem. Fake? What does that mean? He was a fake? Yeah, I... Okay. Nice. That's crazy. And she, she called it too. I guess the real one would never have done that. I'm not sure if I follow. Was she saying that the real one also wouldn't have taken it? Oh, we gotta move one of these? Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, dude. It's just like Uncharted 3. As above, so below. <laughs> what makes you say that, honestly, in the first place? Oh, shit, okay. This thing is just gonna get pushed in, or... How is it going to work? Wow, all of them are moving. Dude, I love this type of shit, man. It's a real treasure hunt now. Oh, you better watch out, because those bricks are going to fall right on top of you. Okay, no, they're moving aside. Holy shit! That's awesome! Staircase! <laughs> Zenzo's just strolling along. She's here for the ride. As the pacifist, that's not gonna fight. Ooh. Drawings of old? Who is this ruler? The king. Oh, damn. Unnaturally smooth. I mean, you are accompanied by Firin. But they haven't actually gotten themselves into a fight yet, right? I don't think they had. Oh, they... Oh, shit. Oh, they caught up with Denkin. That thing. What thing? You. <laughs> <laughs> She's not even, like, shocked or surprised. Oh, fair enough. Ready for the challenge. <laughs> you would know what they are. Yeah, exactly. Restraint magic or hypnosis magic are best for defeating a stronger mage. I mean, honestly though, I don't really get what the issue would be here because you're with a whole fucking team, aren't you? Like, how would you not, like, with Freerun here <laughs> herself, along with a bunch of other mages, how, and warriors, I guess, but how are you not going to be able to take down one Freerun? You get what I'm saying? だが
Oh shit. Now what is she doing? Blessing her? Analyzing? <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a hug from her. I'll look into your eyes too. I'm not gonna joke about this. <laughs> I almost said something really bad. でも精神防御の構築は複雑で強固ですが、だいぶ古い術式のようです。エイデル二級魔法使いなら可能かと。ですが、私と違って戦闘能力は皆無な人なので、正直ここまで来られるかどうか。うん。それに大前提として、精神
こんなの最深部まで無事にたどり着ける人なんているんでしょうか合格者を出すつもりなんて初めからないんだよ Interesting because they're still staying in. They managed to actually flee. So, are they going to be、uh, meeting up with Firin's team as well? Okay, what's going on here? Is this、uh, Wurble's team? Oh, yeah, it is. Going up against themselves. <laughs> they're not thinking anything. <laughs> We've established that by now. I love the shield that they got. Yeah, you're gonna need luck. Once again. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're lucky they actually split up. So now you can figure out what the best approach is. Who you should be taking on. Who should take on who, rather? Oh, damn. Dude, he fired it off like a fucking elastic band. Is he making a. Like, is he making a ceiling burst on her? Is he making a ceiling burst on her? <laughs> That's kind of an、uh, intimidating suggestion you're making here. But I guess Firin is cool with it. <laughs> I would feel a little bit、uh, weird about that, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can get early access to the next two, or sorry, the,、uh, all the remaining episodes of the season straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Free members, you can get early access to the next two episodes right now as well. So go and check it out, and then I'll see you there.